Hello everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymummy.co.uk and today I've got another fantastic technique to share with you. Um, some of you may have watched one of my videos a few days back where I did what I called the scrunchy foil technique. Now that was an adaptation of a technique that I had seen done by another demonstrator at our on-stage event and she used cling film couldn't find my cling film so we compromised and used foil and hey ho today uh, my little girl brings down the cling film <laughs> she had been using it to cover her pots of slime so we're going to have a go at the cling film technique so I've got Highland Heather here uh, 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 scored in the middle at 5 and 7 8 my card base is thick whisper white so that it can withstand the, you know, getting a bit wet so it doesn't go a mess. And this is three and three quarters by five and a half, I think. Yes. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. Um, and I'm just going to get myself some cling film. It's going to be very interesting for me. I am shortly going on holiday and, you know, I've got um, blue fingers. <laughs> I think I'm going to be um, digging out some of um, Lisa's sugar scrub. So the colours I'm using today, I'm going for pale colours again. I'm going for um, Highland Heather because that is the same colour as my cardstock. Okay, I'm going for Blushing Bride and this one is Petal Pink. So they're all kind of close together so that hopefully it won't mix into a muddy mess. That is the theory. We shall see. So I'm just going to scrunch this up um, a little bit before I start. Okay. Alright. And then I'm going to add some drops of the reinkers. Okay, and the cling film is slightly better than the foil. I, I don't know if the results will be different. I'm winging it. I've not tried it. Um, <laughs> but you're going to be able to kind of see where you put in the ink when it's on the card. And you can, you know, rush it about with your fingers and kind of have it going almost a little bit more of a, in a more of a controlled way. Maybe. We'll see. You're learning with me. <laughs> because I've not done it before um, I've merely seen it demonstrated um, and so I'm having a try um, and that's what you need to do you need to just experiment with things it's part of the fun of crafting isn't it? Well, I think it is and when I can get my um, hands all inky so people look at me strange and um, when I'm in the local shop they're probably thinking what has she been doing? Okay, I have had a look and the shimmer paint is coming over, yay! Um, so a few drops of the shimmer paint. Drops, come on. Oop. Oop. Probably got a bit much there, but ho ho. Oop. <laughs> Making a right mess. Right, so let's just gather that up a right little bit. And then I'm going to put my card on. Um, if you don't like getting inky and messy, it's really not for you this technique, stay away. <laughs> I'm just going to get some baby wipes ready, um, just in case. <laughs> but I love this, I love making a mess, it's brilliant. So I'm going to lift it up, and flip it over, okay, and you can see those colours, um, and we're going to smoosh to spread that about a right little bit okay just move some of that colour over okay now you can leave that to dry like that and then remove it I don't have the patience for that me I want it I want it I want everything yesterday look at that wow that shimmer paint really does mix in with those and give a lovely marbly shimmery pretty look and I like that I like the I like these kind of techniques because you just don't know what's going to happen it's unpredictable and you get different results every time I am going to dry it you could add um, you could add a lot more of the reinka so you've got bigger coverage I quite like how it looks 
kind of, I don't know how to explain why there's some of the white still showing anyway. I like it. I like this area where it's all mixed together as well, that's awesome. a bit sticky. We want it to dry. I'm almost tempted to get my um, to get my Mesa cling film. Which side's the wet side? And just smoosh a bit more colour around there. Just smoosh a bit more on. I think I will. <laughs> I think I will. And what I'm also tempted to do, just to add my own little bit of a angle, I might regret it, but I want to, for some reason I want to spray it with water. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's see if that makes any of that colour activate, it might not. Okay. See if we can reactivate that ink a little bit. There we go. There we go. Those colours are starting to run and, and blend now. Just a right little bit. Just to make it look like it's kind of turning into a tie-dyed effect and I really like that so I'm going to dry it now. still see all of that lovely shimmer. It's beautiful. with me if you want. <laughs> oh, I'm not editing. Beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful effect. That will do for me. Let's just give that a bit of a dry off. And then we can attach this to our card and then add a little bit of pattern. I'm just wondering whether to trim it down. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not, I, was, I was just thinking maybe I should trim it down, but no. What you could do, you absolutely could just use a small panel of it. Make yourself a section. You could do all sorts. You could make flowers out of it. My table's a little bit wet. You could make flowers out of it, you could cut your butterflies from it and there's lots you could do just lay on my table, just bear with me because I've used the glass mat um, knowing that I was going to be making a huge inky mess so I'm going to add my background there and again, I, I've said before, I really enjoy this kind of thing, using an inky technique, because you're never going to get two cards the same. Always going to be different. Every time you try it, um, you're going to get a different result. And if you play with different colours, add water, add whatever, you're going to get a different look each time. And that is super pretty. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm really, really thrilled. Um, what a lovely, lovely technique. Right, so what I have done is I have cut some, let me just get my cardstock ready. I've cut some of the dragonflies from Dragonfly Dreams. And I'm just going to put that out. Look at me, covered in it, I love it. And I've done them in black because I thought it would just stand out. Um, 
I've cut both, uh, two different ones because I'm not 100% sure which I'm going to use yet. Haven't decided. Uh, I don't know if I just want the one like that. Or if I want to, I'm going to, I think I've make, I'm going to try and make my decisions pretty quick. And I'm sticking that one up there like so. I want some room for a sentiment down here, I think. And that glue will dry clear. So let me do my sentiment and then I will see what room I've got left for other things. I wonder if I could stamp straight on there. I don't know if I dare try it. <laughs> I don't know if I dare. Because if it doesn't stamp right, then my card's wrecked, isn't it? Oh, dare I? No, I daren't. I daren't stamp direct on there. I haven't tried, so I don't know if it will stamp nicely or not. So I am going to do it on some paper. And I will cut it out. I wonder if the classic label punch will fit. Let me just see if the classic label punch will fit. Um, no, it won't. Okay, we're hand cutting it then, aren't we? Not to worry. All right. So if I stamp pretty close to the edge, I know without a doubt that that edge is straight. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to use my trimmer because I cannot cut straight to save my life. Um, I'll do it there, I think. So if I do it about there, that should be all right. Yep, smash it. And if I do it about... I do a lot of things very much by eye and I make a lot of my cards up as I'm going along um, because I think... Uh, well, that's what most people do, isn't it? Let me grab some dimensionals. Grab my dimensionals and I am going to just very gently with Hannah and Heather ink the edge of that. Just so that it's not so stark white. against that inked background. A little heavier on the corners. There we go. Okay, let's move that out of the way. We will get our dimensionals and then we can see what space we've got left, if any, for some more dragonflies. And I'll have three. There we go. One, two, three. Get off. I am definitely going to have to scrub my hands before I go on holiday. <gasps> Dear me. Okay, enjoy your special day. So we'll have that there in the bottom. Doesn't that look lovely? I think that's gorgeous. Right, so let's have a look what we're going to do with these little fellas now because I don't want, I only want a few. So let's see, we'll snip that one off, just there. Okay, let's just round his bottom. Round his bottom and we'll pop him a little bit. We'll pop him there. I think I'm just going to have three. If I can fit another one just at the bottom there, that would be pretty awesome. So let's have a look which one we can cut out. I'm going to go for this one here. And I'm going to try and cut around to make it look like that is exactly how it was meant to be. And same that. And there. That's not too bad. It looks pretty like it's oh, like it was always like that. Tiny little bit of glue, and I'll have another one just there. Okay. Do I want another? 
no I won't be able to get any more on so there we go we've got another can you see the shimmer on that look at that isn't it awesome we've got another inky background for you to try um, I think I've got inky backgrounds out of my system now for a few days <laughs> so I'll go and make something else give it a try go and have some fun go and raid your kitchen drawers and see what you can use to create your own backgrounds go and have some fun thanks for watching I'll see you again soon bye